Hey there, this is Brandon, and this will be my uh, trading review for Tuesday, February 28th. Um, as you know, I am trading five markets um, at a time, not always in, in more than one trade at a time. Sometimes in a, I'm in two trades at a time, um, once in a while in three trades at a time, but usually just one or two. But I am watching five markets, and I'm waiting for a clear trend such as this and then I'm waiting for 34 bounces um, and uh, and for the MACD to look a certain way um, <clears throat> this was a uh, I thought this was a good setup I, I believe it is a good setup the uh, there's a nice gap below the this is the ES by the way um, so nice downtrend um, a, a little rejection here off of the 34, um, close below the 8, uh, and the MACD was well below 0. Um, so I took a short there. It only went a couple of ticks my way and then came back here and, and perfectly uh, stopped me out. Uh, and then we had a little bit of flatness here, but then it started taking off again. Um, realistically, there is a, an 89 bounce here, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, only went 6 ticks. I'm going for 7 on the ES, so even if I was trading the 89 bounce, uh, that still would have ended up being a, a, a break even plus 1. Um, but I took <clears throat> this, didn't qualify, and really this this was actually. Um, not a valid setup either because it didn't have the right look on the MACD. I try to avoid, I, I'm after a MACD that m looks more like this where it's coming from underneath and comes towards the zero, doesn't make it, and curls back down. Not when it's been over the zero line here for a period of time and then it's, in, in, and it's going back down. So um, really that, that shouldn't have been a trade. Um, I, I succumbed a little bit to some frustration from having been stopped out right there to the tick um, and so you know that that's one of the, the uh, trading psychology things that that gets me sometimes is that desire to just take a trade for the sake of taking a trade instead of uh, for the sake of a beautiful setup I do think this is a decent trend um, the 55 kind of leveled out there and the 34 was headed up for a little bit um, but it looked like we were really getting something going so uh, I wanted to jump in on that trade and that one was a second loser on the ES um, didn't have any other setups on the ES not that I probably would have taken them because um, you know it's just not working on the ES today uh, CL different story um, JY or 6J, 6E, different story, um, but the ES just didn't want to behave uh, today, which is fine. Um, it's going to happen. Now, on, on this setup, uh, I, I don't really like the look of the MACD. It's really cruising up here strongly. Uh, there's been a huge angulation here, which uh, Ray would call a T89 or a T3. Um, and uh, and so in general, I, I'm I'm leery about trading against a bounce like that. And when it looks like that, this just such severe angulation. Um, and so, if I was continuing to trade right now, I would probably be skipping these 34 bounces, even though the MACD is below zero. Um, but it is kind of just riding the rail here. It's just making consistently higher uh, dots here uh, and that's not a good look that's a that's a signal a sign of strong momentum upward <clears throat> and so I would I would be passing on these 34 bounces on the 6j it was a thing of pure beauty um, <clears throat> nice trend here oh I forgot about that one um, so that was actually a loser, and I think all, uh, 
I didn't have any setups here, so that's where my indicator is a little bit lacking because some of these are nice. I mean, this is a very nice trend, um, but that bounce, the MACD is below zero. This bounce, the MACD is below zero. This uh, bounce, the MACD is also below zero. So that's where my indicator, um, you know, it's going to keep me out of these these trades because of the MACD. That's that's um, part of the rule for the indicator. So maybe it needs to be adjusted. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, only only back testing would tell that. And gosh, I don't have a whole bunch of time these days between trading and recording videos and working my normal job, etc. But anyway, I, I get off track here. Um, so nice signal bar there. Uh, the MACD had a beautiful look it's actually inside the band here uh, or very close to it uh, love that look uh, that's really nice um, and it just it only you know petered out it just didn't go my way far enough to uh, to get a scalp there um, on the other hand these two setups were were about as picture perfect as it gets um, I, I, I don't like this MACD look as much as that one but it still qualifies, um, so grabbed along there and a very quick scalp. Same thing here. This was getting a little bit close, um, but the 6J sometimes it just really works well, and today, today was uh, an example of that. No more signals after that. On the NQ, um, looking a little sketchy here. A lot of red and green candles just back to back. Um, so no clear direction, but then it started to look like it wanted to head down. Um, I skipped this. Why did I skip that? Mm, I don't, honestly, I don't, uh, maybe I just missed that signal there. Um, it's, you know, it looks valid. Um, but uh, thankfully, I just I just didn't get in on that trade. This one here, I didn't like how close the EMAs were to each other. Also, I didn't like the look of the of the MACD. It had spent some time above zero, and uh, it was starting to head down. So I skipped that one. Um, <clears throat> this one, I I missed the signal candle here, uh, and by the time I flipped over to the chart here. Uh, price was in this area, so I went ahead and went short there. It honestly, it wouldn't have mattered because if I had gone short right there, you see where my stop would have been, you see where my target would have been, and uh, it would have been a, a 14 tick winner. As it turned out, I got a better price. I had to sweat a little bit, um, but because I had that better price, I ended up taking an 18 tick scalp. I just had my target down here. This was really weird on my platform. It was like it it um, didn't. You see, my, I had my order here the whole time, and and you see there was no fill, even though it ticked below. So that was really odd. I am on a simulator. Um, sometimes the the data connection isn't the quickest. So I think that was just a, a case of price was down here, but the, it was so fast that it didn't trigger my order. I had like a temporary disconnect. That's the only thing I can figure. Uh, but I did get filled here, thank, thankfully, uh, for the plus 18, and no further signals. Signals. Uh, CL was an adventure today. Um, what am I trying to do here? <clears throat> Big adventure on the CL today. Uh, so we finally got a nice trend going here. Uh, I went short, and uh, it went one, two, three, four, five ticks my way and started to bounce off of this. And so I chickened out here and moved my stop to break even plus one and got taken out for a plus one there. Um, I missed the entry here, but I used a limit order and it came back over here and, and got filled right here and uh, that went down went exactly eight ticks 
exactly eight ticks my way. You see my target was, was right here. Uh, bounced off my target order, did not fill, came back for a plus one. Um, I took a short right here. All of these were nice valid signals here. Um, so I went short there, went a couple of ticks, bounced, went a couple of ticks, bounced. <clears throat> um, and so when it came back down here again and went a couple of ticks, you see all those matching lows. I, I chickened out on this one and I grabbed just two ticks. Obviously would have been a winner there, a full, full winner. Um, <clears throat> and uh, broke the rules here a bit because there was this big double bottom, some pretty nice angulation here. Um, if I zoom out, this has been a really nice trend. A lot of 89 bounces and 34 bounces that have worked. Um, so you, you start, to, I start to get suspicious, and I start to be really uh, cautious about hanging on to my winning trades for too long and trying to get too big of a target or even just taking the trades to begin with. I did take this trade. Um, you see it's a little bit not not quite the look we want. It did drop below zero on the MACD and then came back up to test it and started headed back down. Um, so, But that was really sketchy, really iffy. Um, and so when it, when it came down here and started to bounce, I quickly moved my target up and, and just took four ticks on that trade. Nice correction here, and then the trend started to continue. Um, if you see, if you can see, all the EMAs are fanning out again, and this is a really nice 89 and 34 bounce. Nice close there. Uh, I grabbed a short. It went one, two, three, four, five ticks my way and bounced. Went five, four ticks my way, bounced again, and then stopped me out for a minus seven. Um, but that was a nice look on the MACDs. Uh, not so much, I guess, on the the, the EMAs here. So I, I definitely could have skipped that one. Uh, again, the EMAs were starting to fan out nicely here. Um, this this trade, this loser, could have been avoided because of the way the the MACD is crawling up. Um, I mean, it did bulge out here a little bit and start to curl a little bit, um, but that's a pretty strong look as far as the momentum goes. Um, and so here again, I had a little bit of that uh, impulsive, frustrated, emotional type trading because I took a, a, an exact stop out here and got high ticked right there for a minus seven, and then it started to drop again. And I said, well, this is technically an 89B. Now now I'm mainly just trying to stick to the 34Bs, but you see there it bounced off the 89, all the EMAs are stacked, and the close right there below the 8. So I went short there, uh, and it went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ticks my way, uh, and came back and stopped me out for a break even, plus 1, and then I took this monster trade. Um, nice 34 bounce, 89 bounce there. I loved the way the MACD looked. Um, took a short there. Took a little bit of a sweat. Um, and you see my original target should have been here. But I canceled my target order um, because I thought there was a decent chance that we might get a, a, a real plunge. Um, the CL does that sometimes, so I was... You know, I, I didn't have my, I didn't, I, I trailed my stop, so it wasn't, it wasn't completely irresponsible. But I wanted to see if I could get a bigger um, runner on this trade. I just uh, believed, based on the price action and on the way that the CL moves, sometimes that if we broke below these lows, it would really start to move. And um, fortunately for me, it did. I was basically trailing my stop right here behind the 55 EMA. Um, but then when we got some more 34 bounces here, I, I had the feeling that these would be kind of the last last push. Um, so <laughs> I, I could not have done any better on this exit. I'm pleased with that. It wasn't 
magic. I liked the the idea of going for 21 ticks even, kind of like an old ES or uh, NQ trade where I would go for 21 ticks. Um, but mainly the reason I exited here was because of these dots here. So we had the 34 bounce setups here, and I figured, well, if I was if I was flat, if I had taken my plus eight and I was flat in here and I was taking these 34 bounces, where would my target be? Of course, it would be right there. So I went ahead and placed an order there, got filled for a nice winner, um, and that was it on the CL. The 6E uh, was up and down for me today. Um, the EMAs were very tight here, but starting to fan out. And I liked the way the MACD came down here and kind of started bouncing. So I grabbed along there, and that was a nice, easy win. Big retracement here, and then it started heading higher again. Um, I think the, the one thing that might have kept me out of this losing trade, uh, well, a couple things. First of all, there's a big, big push here, big final push, big angulation, big pull away from the 8 EMA. That's kind of a warning sign. I could have definitely taken that, taken that as a warning sign, sign to, uh, to steer clear. There's a big retracement here, big correction, and this is kind of like a giant fake out move. Like, hey, you know, let's suck in some last bears that, or last bulls that missed all of this move. Let's suck them all in and then just rip their faces off. So um, definitely could have avoided this trade based on that. Um, but also the MACDs, eh, not looking great. There's not a whole lot of space there to the zero line. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's pretty legit. The EMAs look really nice right there. That's really pretty. And with the exception of that, um, I think this is a valid setup and just, you know, they don't always work. It's not a 100% proposition. Uh, it's closer to a 70% proposition and um, I'll have some more real numbers on that when I have some more trades under my belt. But uh, so, yeah, I took the loser there on the 6E. Um, my last trade was that, that big CL plus 21, uh, which brought me back to um, to a, a profitable day. 16 trades is going to probably be around 70 bucks. So not not stellar, but definitely in, in the black for today. And uh, we'll be back again to try it tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great night.